Remember what a horrific unorganized mess Fire Festival, the supposedly exclusive and luxurious dumpster fire catering to rich influencers, was in 2017? Well, organizer Billy McFarland has just been released from jail, and immediately announced the cringe-inducingly named Fire Festival 2, with the first hundred tickets selling out at 500 US dollars a pop, and others to be released in phases with outrageously increased prices. I cannot emphasize enough just how much of a cultural impact the original Fire Festival had on the world in 2017. It was a true rise and fall story in the purest instance, with McFarland and rapper Ja Rule hyping it up with videos of models on beach and promises of private islands, and celebrity chefs, with some tickets going for $12,000. However, the organizers spent their budget on promotion and jet skis before tackling the true logistics of running a massive event, believing that it was not going to be as expensive and as time-consuming as they were advised. This is why perks such as accommodation ended up being refugee shelters with dirt floors, and gourmet food was cheese sandwiches served in styrofoam. Truly, after months of hype and build-up of how exclusive and expensive the Fire Festival would be, it was extremely funny, yet undeniably tragic, as thousands of rich people assuming they'd be living it up over all of us poor peasants were basically stranded in a Lord of the Flies situation. However, it didn't just affect rich people. Once Ja Rule and McFarland found out they couldn't afford to pay anyone, all acts were pulled out and yet the event dangerously went ahead, stranding attendees in the Bahamas and leaving all local workers with no pay for their trouble. The fallout from this royal f**k-up was inevitable, as millions of people criticized the festival for what felt like a year straight, with unending memes and stories of what really happened as opposed to the glossy online promotion. Hence, McFarland was sentenced to six years in prison as a con man, and Ja Rule was actually cleared of wrongdoing as he claimed he too had been scammed. Much of the festival was promoted on Instagram by f Jerry, the company famous for screenshotting memes to make millions of dollars, reposting them without credit until later being forced to. What's wild is that f Jerry also had a hand in producing the Netflix documentary Fire, which does not mention their involvement in promotion at all, more or less scrubbing them from all responsibility. And so, Billy McFarlane getting out of prison and announcing a second Fire Festival is so dumb no one saw it coming, but now many are waiting with bated breath to see if something extremely funny will happen again, as rich people spend their bucks on what may amount to be a giant scam. Or maybe, just maybe, it could be Fire. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>